<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the James Lawrence Allcourt channel. This is easily the weirdest place I've ever done a video, but um, I've just arrived in Heathrow. I'm about to pick up my bags and England have lost. I watched, it was the most hot guys. It was so horrible in so many ways. I watched England go out of a World Cup in seat B, so middle seat, next to two women. It's not a problem with the women, but they did have loads of hair that they kept flicking in my face which is infuriating and I couldn't scream and if any of you guys know what I'm like when I watch football or play football you will know that I have Tourette's football Tourette's and I have to speak and it was absolutely unbearable um, just gonna do a really really quick one here just to give my thoughts because um, it's obviously the fallout's always huge on these kind of things and just want to give my take on it really because I think it's um, I'm kind of halfway between two trains of thought here where it's like I think it's a bit like sort of um stairs in terms of the progress progression of a team and I think as time goes on as you progress as a team and you go up the levels you know the, the expectations need to come with that and I think starting off with the positives I thought we were great you know, this is a really good French side, one of the favourites. Everyone's been saying that they've got a really good team. Then when they start playing football, everyone goes, wow, they are really, really a good team. They've got Mbappe, how do you stop Mbappe, all this stuff. And tactically, well, we, we were really good. We were really, really good. You know, the setup was correct. Um, you can see what we're trying to do in terms of stopping Mbappe. I think overall, we definitely did that. Some people will turn that on to a, being a negative. Oh, we were focusing too much on Mbappe. Like, Jesus Christ, like, you, you know, meet me halfway here. At some point you have to go, hang on, this is one of the best players, if not the best player in the world at this stage. We have to put a plan in place. And we did. Um, I thought, that you're, you know, they have other threats. So it's not just going to be about Mbappe. But if you can keep Mbappe quiet, which we did, you know, this idea that, oh, you, there was too much focus on him, we had one, they had one centre forward and we had two centre backs that needed to deal with him. And on two occasions, he, you know, he got free. Pickford made a save for one, the second one, it's a bullet header. Um, in terms of the goals, the first one, Pickford's got to save that, in my opinion. I don't think you can get beat that far out, really. As, as good a strike as it is, really, you shouldn't be getting beat by, by that kind of distance. I feel like other goalkeepers might have saved it. And I think it's just one of those ones where, on other occasions, Pickford will make saves that other goalkeepers won't. And on this occasion, it's one where maybe because he is a bit smaller, he can't reach that one. So that's obviously frustrating. And you think, you wonder then, is it going to be a procession? Are we just, uh, you know, we've been sort of dumb in thinking that we've got a good team here. But do you know what? I thought some players really came of age tonight. I thought Declan Rice was absolutely amazing. I've, of, you know, of what's been a very competent set of performances and comfortable performances, Declan Rice has been the one that's got a bit of heat from me because I, I don't really see him in that role. I don't, I don't feel like he works there. I, I take that completely back because when forced in a game of real quality, and it was, in terms of the quality on the pitch, it was, it was miles better than anything I think I'd seen in the tournament in terms of two teams having a proper go at each other. Declan Rice was so brave on the ball. Um, he drove with the ball which we know he can do. But again, you, these are things that you can play a lot safer than Declan Rice did. But because he was forced into, one, because we weren't 1-0 down, but two, because he knew that's the only way we are going to get through the thirds. He and pretty much everyone on the pitch played the level of football that I think we've been, generally as England fans, been screaming for for some time. And I thought he was awesome. I thought it was absolutely awesome. Got on the ball, played little passes forwards with the outside of his foot to Foden and different players. He misses one tackle, which is in the lead up to the goal. So people might turn on him for that a little bit. But overall, I thought he was absolutely fa fantastic. Bellingham continued to drive and be brilliant. The midfield, we ran him into the ground. We were all, honestly, there was, you know, as much as you can be all over France, we were. And we, we stepped up and we deserved the equaliser. Comes from a penalty, of course. Saka, I thought, was amazing. And there's been so much talk about um, 
you know, Foden over the years has been this generational talent. We have to talk about Saka in that in that same, you know, breath now. Like we're, we're focusing on the wrong player here sometimes because Saka, time and again, is just too much for the opposition. Um, I'm going to keep it brief. We can talk about this um, properly tomorrow. We'll break down every single player, break down the tactics, and, and let me know any comments or questions. Sorry on the game tactically but here's my main take is I think Southgate's got it spot on but what I would say is that if you are progressing as a team and I think we have and I think again in terms of performance we have you have to take your chances and we haven't taken our chances um, we can talk about substitutions as well and I think if you go overboard with it then I think you're missing the point because again the 11 on the pitch were really good I thought taking Saka off was maybe a little bit silly in my opinion. I didn't really understand Sterling. Um, but Mount, it was for energy. I would have liked to see Madison. But overall, you know, we, we have to... This is a new line for me where it's like, OK, we weren't good enough because we didn't take our moments. And football's about taking your moments. But th that is the standard now. You know, it's a back four from here in. There's no, you know, defensive nature. And we'll talk about Southgate tomorrow, but the bottom line is, is that we should have won that game. We should have got through that tie and we didn't. And so we, we got what we deserved, regardless of the performance being really, really high end, in my opinion. It's funny, isn't it? You kind of I come away from it. Not, I'm sort of gutted, but, you know, at some point my patience has run out in terms of, oh, plucky England. Oh, well, no, this is a good team really good midfield and they've made a very good French side look pretty average at time, times. I really like the identity of this team and how it plays now. I think this is the, the road to go down for sure. Um, but again, I don't want to get into players too much. We'll do this tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to give you my thoughts. And the bottom line is, is that we should have got through that and we're out of the bloody World Cup. So I'm gutted. Right, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll talk very soon. Lots of love. All God's back. See you later.